Hello, it's me again. And today I'm going to talk about how blessed I feel for like the people I have in my life. I just know that I'm very blessed. I have amazing people all around me and I'm just like, I'm just right now during this like transition phase of you know, getting off the antidepressant and getting strength um, through other things and uh, healing and working with the psychologist, Dr. Fox. Uh, I'm just like really reaching out, like needing like lifelines and, you know, like right now it's, I'm really reaching out to people or even being around them, I'm just taking in as much love and, like, kindness and just, I'm just trying to learn as much as I can and to recognize how blessed I am and um, that people do love me. I know that people love me. It's it's just this thing that I feel that I'm too much. Like, I always feel like I'm too much and... um. It's just like it's a scary feeling because you want like stability in your life and you want to feel like everything's going to be okay. But you're scared to like trust when things are good because you're scared of when they're going to go bad and how bad it's going to hurt if you're not, you know, ready for it. And I know what things might not even go bad and the majority of the time they don't. And I spend so much of my time stressing about it and worrying. And right now I'm I'm really trying to face those, like, all of those things I'm scared of and, and learn from them. And, oh my gosh, but I'm just, it sucks to, like, face and realize how insecure you are in so many ways. And then being insecure and reaching out to someone or to a lot of people, you know, that you trust. But dang, I'm so sick of like feeling like this needy, insecure, like maybe negative like person. And I'm tired of like asking for help and because it gets to a point where you do, you have to make a choice and are you gonna keep living in this? Like, do you actually want help? And if you get it, are you going to really use it and not waste people's time or your own time and make your life better? And so I am pretty sure I am really at that point and it, it's where it gets hard. But I know I'm very lucky that I have a psychologist Dr. Fox that I'm working with every week and like we're sorting through it but I have to put the work in and I have to make the changes and the choices and I need to have the discipline and everything that comes with it to actually make it better and so yeah um I went and we had lunch today with um my with the wolf pack and for Junar's birthday his girlfriend Bryn put it on and it was really good I haven't seen everyone on the team since March when we went to nationals and left early because that's when like the NBA shut down and everything was getting crazy so it was quite the experience and and we had it together and we really are a family and these like these guys, like, I'm so lucky to have nine teammates. I think there's nine guys. Uh, and I'm, like, being the only girl, at first it was really scary for me. And I don't know. I just, I'm, I've, I have all sisters. There's five of us girls in my family and no brothers. And I really didn't understand the male species and these guys have taught me so much about not only like guys and how they communicate and 
you know, how much, how similar we all are. And, but also they taught me a lot about like family and, you know, like they are my family. Like they love me unconditionally and we work through stuff. Like when we have problems, I might like all, I, I will not might. I think it's the end of the world and that I'm the shittiest person and they're not going to want me on the team and they're probably annoyed of me and like I'm too much and it always goes back to feeling like I'm too much and I can't be who I am or if I say how I feel then I don't know I just worry I always worry everything's gonna fall apart and every time though they reassure me and they chill me out and they encourage me and they really do just want the best for me and they want me to be happy and they want me to thrive in my life and it's really special and I feel really blessed and um yeah so that's something that happened today and then after we had lunch uh we went over to the gas station and I finally did something with the old gas that, you know, I kind of had in my car, which wasn't safe, um, because I was, I needed to recycle it somewhere, and it's for my moped to try and make my moped start, um, but long story short, I finally just, like, put the old gas in my car, it wasn't a lot, and then, you know, filled my gas tank up with new gas, and now I have new gas in the in the gas can and I can put it in my moped and see if it will start and the next thing is tabs but I just kind of put my moped off for a long time um because I start a million projects and then write probably like I, I really don't finish them my roommate told me that she doesn't think I finish things and I was like oh you don't think I finish things but then I realized I don't like I always I always self-sabotage right when I am about to, like, experience what I wanted to experience. I wanted to be riding my moped, and and then I let the fact that I don't know what to do with this old gas. I tried calling a couple of places, blah, 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 I can't, you know, and, and then I need tabs, and it's probably going to be expensive in California, and I don't even know how it works, and, like, I let it overwhelm me, and then never finished it, and started other projects. Uh, and that's usually what I do, and it's hard to tell when it's depression that's making you feel like finishing this isn't gonna be worth it, or it's too hard, or you're not capable of doing what you set out to do. It's hard to know when it's depression, or when it's you got to a point where you realize this wasn't for you anymore or you know but I feel like I don't actually give myself a fair chance ever to try the things that I want to experience in my life and yeah I think that's a big thing with depression is really self-sabotaging like you don't even realize you're doing it but I don't finish things and I always feel confused about whether about why something isn't making me happy I I never know if it's something's wrong with me and I just don't know how to enjoy it or like or if maybe that's just something that I'm not passionate about or you know it's really hard to tell but I think what it comes down to is finishing what you started and then making a decision about how you feel about it, but giving yourself a fair chance. And um, that's my 10-minute spiel for the day. But actually, I do have something else I wanted to talk about, so I think I'm going to make another video. Or I'm just going to add this on YouTube. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to add it on YouTube. Um, The other thing that I wanted to say was um, people, like, I had a really good friend when we first